Oh, they love us no matter what. They sit dutifully for pictures when we dress them in goofy outfits. And, and no, we're not talking about your wife, husband, or kids. We're talking about our loving, loyal pets, of course. So question, what does your four-legged friend deserve, really deserve this holiday season? Well, with us now to talk more about it is Dan Schackner. And he has some fun gift ideas and some great ways to enjoy the, uh, the holiday season with our pets. Dan, welcome aboard. How are you, sir? I'm great. Happy holidays. I see you got a little friend there as well. Uh, yeah. Was that a Yorkie? Yeah, it's a Yorkie, Tully. <laughs> uh, he's our little adoption ambassador because last year he was looking for a forever home and we got him adopted and he's here to tell you, along with me, all about the holidays. He's currently wearing a lovely Christmas-themed sweater, as you can see. Not quite a match to my cat sweater, but I'd like to point out we do have matching scarves. Naughty and nice. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And he is so well-behaved. Uh, all right, yeah. Let's just start off big picture here. This is a great time of year to celebrate the holiday, not just with all of our family and friends, but, but with our, our furry friends as well, correct? That's absolutely right. They're a member of the family, and, uh, you know, there's a lot going on, and we want to create those memories, not just with our, you know, human family members, but with our pet family members as well. We got to do it. And, and, and I guess, look, we, we think about, I see you have the little sweater on there, the little, you know, outfit. We think about that. But what about mm -hmm. some other unique gift ideas maybe for pets or friends of ours, pets? Uh, what do you recommend? Absolutely. Yeah, there's the coordinating uh, sweaters and combos that you can get at places like Petco.com. And then there's also the more hands-on projects like uh, these DIY jars. And these are just craft projects that you can create with your dog, tailor it to what they might like, put treats in there that they might like. There's a paw print ornament over here that you can create, of course, personalized little gift there. Uh, there's If you don't have a lot of time for the DIY stuff, the craft stuff, the experience stuff, you can order a great, great, great thing called Pup box and it's pup box through petco and they'll deliver a box gift box to your house for the holidays um the one that you see here is tailored for the holidays so it's got doggy treats holiday training tips toys things like that if you like it you can set up a monthly subscription where you know every month you get a new surprise in the mail so it kind of spreads the holiday cheer all year long <laughs> I like that idea. Maybe maybe a little eggnog theme for our dogs. Uh, let's step back for a second. Um, and just on a, I guess, a, a, a more serious front, you know, there's so many decorations, so many things we put up around the house, cats, dogs, all of our pets. Any safety tips with that? Oh, always. Uh, you have to think about your dogs and cats as members of the family that have, you know, a little extra... Oh, needs. And, you know, they might need us to take care of them at this time of the year more than ever before because there's new people coming into the house. There's deliveries. There's parties. There's decorations. So much activity, and we don't want to overlook them. So if they're particularly skittish or if they bark a lot or if you see them getting anxious, these are the things that are going to get heightened during this time of the year. Keep those uh, tricky ornaments out of their reach, anything that can fall down and shatter. Keep that out of their reach. And remember that things like uh, poinsettias, mistletoe, pine needles, if ingested can really hurt them. So uh, let's not forget table scraps either. Mm. You know, we want to we wanna make them happy, but if we're just feeding them everything off the table all times, especially we have well-meaning guests throwing <laughs> down scraps, that can really hurt our dogs and cats too. So yeah. uh, keep all those things in mind. Yeah. We've all seen that holiday meal where the, the, the dog gets a few too many scraps perhaps. Well, one last uh, question for you, Dan. Um, yeah. People think about this. Hey, you know what? Maybe the pet or dog or cat would make the perfect gift. Uh, what are your thoughts on yeah. giving a pet as a gift? I think it's a complicated decision to make. <laughs> if you're really going to gift a dog or a cat, I mean, that's like gifting, especially if they're puppies, it's like gifting a baby. You know, you have to think about your time commitment. The holidays are already a really busy time, and then to devote the time to house training a dog is going to be really, really tough. As cute as they are, as good idea as you think it is, it's going to sap a lot of your time and energy. So just be prepared. You know, take into account all the members of your family and how much they can commit to that new family member. And always check out your local shelter first because they're the ones with the dogs that are really in need of forever homes and they can really help match you to a dog who temperament-wise, size-wise, uh, mm. personality-wise um, can really be the right fit for your family. Absolutely. Well, it's a big decision, but one that will factor in all those points. Dan Schachner with Animal Planet. Thanks so much for coming aboard, sir. Absolutely, guys. Go to petco.com slash holiday for more info on all of this stuff.
we will do that. And we'll be back with what's going around town for the holidays when we come back.